Well, hello, Grand Nine students. It's Mr. Cranny here, and today we're talking about refusal skills. How do you say no when you want to say no? Uh, we're talking about this in the context of uh, substance use and abuse, um, and we are, you know, we look at how do we say no to substances that we don't want to take, and really we're looking at how to say no to others. Because the reality is, if we want to avoid substance abuse, at a certain point, we're going to have to say no, say no to ourselves, and say no to other people. Um, and th these skills are really a way for you to be able to do that with other people effectively. How to say no to other people effectively. Now, these refusal skills also follow through in other aspects of your life. Um, if you're someone that says, finds it hard to say no in, in different respects, these refusal skills are going to help you. But they're definitely going to help you when you come into a situation where you're being offered a substance you don't want to take and you want to say no. How do you do that? For some people, it may be easier than others, uh, but all of these skills uh, are, are things that you can use in order to refuse effectively. Now, one more thing. These are skills. These are skills like, like uh, you know, a basketball shot. These are skills like, uh, you know, practicing your, your musical instrument. Um, all of these skills are things that you practice and you get better at over time. Refusal skills, L communication skills are the same way. The more you practice them, the better you get at them. And it doesn't really matter if you're like practicing it, like you're acting or role playing through it. It doesn't matter if you're practicing by actually doing the skill in, in real time when you need to refuse. You're thinking, OK, I'm just I'm going to practice this right now um, in small ways. You get better the, the more you practice any communication skills. So um, we'll talk about practicing these in a second. But here are uh, the refusal skills we want you to know. First of all, we have to talk about communication styles. Uh, there are the way that you present your refusal is very important. And there's three primary ways that people kind of present themselves when they're trying to refuse. Two of them we don't want you to do. One of them we want you to do all the time. And we want you to communicate in one style uh, really all the time. And the other two we just we don't want you to communicate in really at all. But it helps to highlight how we present ourselves in and, and communicate our, our, our refusal. The first way, which we don't want you to do, is passive, okay, passive. A passive communicator is unsure of themselves, uh, is not confident, uh, gives no eye contact, uh, uses a small voice. Uh, passive is, is like, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, I guess, uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, you, you don't communicate, uh, you know, that you you know what you want. You don't communicate that uh, you have a, a, a firm stance or opinion. You're pliable, like pliable. You, you, you can be moved. You can be shifted. Other people can make decisions for you. That's what you're communicating when you're passive. Um, and you end up, you don't get what you want. In the end, you don't get what you want. You let other people, you give your, your control over to other people to, to manipulate it and make decisions for you because... They, they, it seems like they can, and you're just, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. What do you, you know? What do you think? Uh, uh, now, I'll say that most of the time, people, when people communicate passively, it's, it's not always, uh, you know, because they're unsure. Sometimes it's because you just, you kind of want to go along to get along. You, you, you don't want to rock the boat. You don't want to, you know, cause any conflict. You really uh, back away from conflict. So you, you just tend to you know, be, be a bit more passive because of that. And, and while that's well-intentioned, um, it, it's, it's not a good way to go. And it's really not going to be helpful in the long term uh, to solve any conflict areas. It's just kind of pushing things off. So don't communicate in a passive way. On the other side is aggressive. So aggressive is, you know, you know what you want, but you communicate in a way that does not care about other people, not caring about what they think or what they want. You're going to get what you want no matter what. And maybe that comes out like you're yelling and screaming, hey, I'm going to get this no matter what. Hey, you stupid. You know, maybe you're name calling because of it. Uh, it comes out like anger. Um, you know, maybe it's not not, you know, pushy, but it's like it's like a freeze out. Like, I'm not going to talk to you and uh, because of because of because of this. And that's that's a, like what we call passive aggressive. But that's in a form of, of aggressive communication is kind of freezing the other person out because of um, uh, because of what they're doing or what they're saying. So really an aggressive communicator, 
they get what they want, but they end up damaging a lot of relationships uh, in the end. Um, is you know, hey, I, I get out of my face. I don't want this. You know, you stupid loser. Like, you know, it's it's I'm getting exactly what I want, but you know what? I'm hurting other people in the process. We don't want you to communicate uh, in, a, in an aggressive way. How we want you to communicate is assertively. All right. Assertive people know what they want. Okay. You've got a firm stance or, or direction. You know what you want. You have a clear voice when you're communicating. You make eye contact with the person and you're firm in your stance, but respectful. This is what I think. This is what I want out of the situation. And I care about what you think too, but this is going to be the, the decision that I make. Hopefully you can respect that, but this is where this is where I'm going to be. Um, and you're comfortable, you know, you're comfortable in your decision. Uh, you're saying, you know, uh, maybe it's a refusal. And you're saying I'm not interested. Um, I hope you understand. And and you are you are comfortable in your stance. And if you get pushed back, no, nope, sorry, I'm not interested. But you know. You do what you want to do, but I'm not. I'm not going to join you on this uh, for this one, right? And you're 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 comfortable with who you are. Um, you know, assertiveness is is that it's it's being very respectful to other people's thoughts and feelings, but at the same time, uh, you are firm and you are sure of what you want. You end up getting what you want in this situation uh, in a way that is respectful and positive towards towards other people. That's assertiveness and. That can be hard. Um, sometimes maybe you don't know what you want. Uh, maybe sometimes you're not actually comfortable. Um, and, and sometimes you just have to, you know, maybe kind of put on a little bit of a face or a show and, and just practice being that assertive person. Practice giving eye contact. Pa practice facing the person and, and using a clear, confident voice. Um, all those things can be practiced to show assertiveness, to be, to be saying, you know, this is what I want out of the situation. I respect what, what you think, um, but this is this is me and this is what I'm going to do. Um, so that's that's assertiveness. And that's the way we always want you to communicate. Um, a great way to practice this is, is at home. You're practicing these communication styles all the time. So think about maybe your relationship with your with your parents. Um, you know, if you practice assertiveness, mom and dad, uh, you know, I, I respect what you think about, you know, me doing this uh, particular thing. I, I think this is OK for me to do. Uh, I, 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 I hear your opinion. Um, let, can we sit down and have a conversation about it? Um, because I think this is something that we should discuss together. What do you guys think about that? And that's a way to to communicate that's going to uh, respect what the other person ha has to think. You're not just passively kind of letting things happen to you. At the same time, you're not being aggressive. Hey, I, I, I demand this. I'm going to get this no matter what. Slamming doors or freezing out, et cetera. That, you know, assertiveness is always going to be the most effective way um, to get what you want out of a situation. OK, so we got that. We're going to be assertive. And we're going to be assertive when we refuse. Always assertiveness. So I'm pointing arrows to all three of these because for all of these to be effective, all these refusal skills to be effective, you have to communicate in an assertive way. So here are the three uh, refusal skills, basic refusal skills uh, that we want you to be able to use in a situation where you want to be able to say no. The first one is called delay. And delay is good. Delay works. Delay gets you out of the situation um, in, in the moment. And here's what delay says. If you're going to use the delay uh, refusal skill, it says not now, but maybe later. Now, I'm not interested to, right now, but, you know, maybe in a week. Uh, no, it's not my thing. I'm not interested today, but, uh, you know, I'm not saying no forever. I'm just, I'm just not feeling comfortable today. That's delay. And a lot of times when we're in a situation where we want to refuse, we don't maybe don't, maybe we don't want to tell the person outright no or we can't think of a, a good reason or or, you know, a, a better situation. Um, so we just try to get ourselves out of the situation in the, the moment that we're in and we put off the decision till a later time. 
And, and that's OK. That's totally an acceptable way to kind of refuse and say, no, not not now. But, you know, I'm not closing the door entirely, but I'm just saying, you know, I'm not going to do that right now. So that gets you what you want and 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 doesn't, you know, kind of slam the door if you're not feeling comfortable in the situation to kind of close the door completely. Another way to look at this is, you know, I I can't I can't tonight. Uh, you know, sorry, I got a, I got a game tomorrow and I got to be ready for my game. Right. You're kind of giving a reason for for your delay. Uh, you know, oh, sorry, I can't uh, you know, I can't do that. I can't um, be doing that right now because I got you know, I'm, I'm rehearsing for this big performance. And, you know, I got to get up early tomorrow to get to my rehearsal. And I, I just can't be doing that tonight. Um, so you're saying, you know, I can't do it now. And I have a good I have a good reason for it. But you're not just kind of closing the door on it completely. So that's delay and delay is good. Now, eventually with delay, you're going to have to, you know, in order to say no, you can't, people might get annoyed if you keep putting off, putting off, putting off, wait a minute, but it gets you out of the situation in the moment. And that's really the important part. So that's delay. Number two is refuse. For refuse is, is better. Refuse says no in an assertive way. And it's simply that it sounds uh, simple, but it's simply saying, no, thanks. No, I'm not interested. No, I, 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 I don't do that. It's and it's and it's it's being I'm, I'm looking at you. I'm saying it in a clear voice. I'm not I don't have to give a million reasons as to why I'm saying no. Um, I'm just I'm just saying, no, I don't want to do that. I'm not interested in in, in doing in doing this. And, and that's OK. That is, you should be able to say no. You shouldn't feel compelled to have to give a reason or or an explanation. You know, if, if you are not in a situation or comfortable doing something, people should be willing to accept your no. I, and you should be comfortable in, in, in saying that even if they don't accept it. You should be comfortable in the fact that, hey, no, I don't have to give a reason. I just I, I'm just going to say say no in a respectful, polite way. And that's that. My wife is great at this. She practices this. You've ever had a telemarketer, you know, they, they kind of constantly say, uh, you know, try to sell you stuff, try to sell you something. And uh, uh, my wife uh, has notoriously, you know, uh, listened to their pitch and just said, no, I'm not interested. And listen again, no, no, thank you. No, I'm not interested. No, we, we you know, we don't need that. No, no, no. And they end up hanging up on her um, because she has such great refusal skills. It's a great way to practice uh, if you ever get the chance with telemarketers. And on that note, this is like the no, no, no. You might have to say it a few times. Uh, when I was uh, um, uh, 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 working for Good Life Fitness, we were told how to sell um, fitness packages to people. And we were told, don't give up until at, at least the fourth no. If someone says no, you try again with a different tactic. If they say no again, and, you know, if someone's really trying to get you to try something, they may try, they may, may say something over, you know, try to convince you over and over again. And you have to be like a broken record. No, not interested. No, no, thank you. No. And, and be comfortable with that, being comfortable with, with saying no over and over again. And politely, you know, you do what you want to do, but I, I'm, I'm not going to do it. You know, that's the no that uh, is, is refusal. And Doing it in an assertive way is really effective. Uh, number three is negotiate. And this is really the best way to refuse. So delay gets you out of the situation. Refuse says, no, I'm not interested in, and kind of shuts the door on, on you doing something. Negotiate is when you decide that I don't want to do it and I don't want the other person to do it either. And let's do something else that's kind of even better or more interesting or at least different from, you know, the, the, the substance that's being offered um, in, in, in this situation. So negotiate says, no, thanks. Let's do something else instead. No, I'm not interested, but hey, I'll tell you what, I'll take you outside and I bet you I can beat you one on one on my basketball hoop. You want to do that instead? You know, what that does, what that does is it, it, gets the other person kind of away from th from, you know, thinking about the substance or it might get them not using it. Um, and it also gets you to kind of gain a friendship. You're not kind of 
saying no and just kind of like sitting in the no, which is sometimes uncomfortable, but you're saying no, but hey, let's turn around and do something positive instead. It also flips the switch and gets them to refuse, right? You're kind of questioning them. No, I'm not interested, but hey, I bet you I can beat you one-on-one. Do you want to go play outside? Now they have to think about, do I say yes or no to that? And you're making them refuse instead of all the pressure being on you. So negotiate's a great thing. And the thing about negotiation though is, is kind of sometimes it's hard to think of something great to offer in the moment when, you know, if you're a little put off, but you can think of lots of ideas probably ahead of time. If you know, you're going to be in a situation, Hey, I, you know, I'm not interested in doing that, but you know, I, I just got this great video game and I, 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 I bet you, you can't beat me out of let's go play. No, I, I, you know, I don't want to do that. Um, but I'll tell you what, I'll take you out, uh, to, uh, let's go to Tim Hortons and I'll buy you your favorite donut. Like, what do you want? You know, so anything that's kind of getting the picture away from from the refusal and trying to, you know, do something different or something more positive um, is negotiate. Negotiate is a great way to go. Um, It's the best of the refusal skills because not only does it get you out of the situation, might get the other person out of the situation. And, you know, it's a win win for both of you. So the only thing about it is, like I said, it's hard to think of in the moment sometimes. So delay, refuse, negotiate. And if I'm practicing this skill, you know, I'm kind of thinking through some scenarios in my head. So somebody's coming to me and offering me uh, an, uh, an alcoholic drink at a party, and I'm not interested in having that. Um, this is something I had to constantly do when I was in university. Um, I was a basketball player for the Ottawa GGs, which sometimes meant, uh, you know, parties and things like that. But I'm someone who who decided very early on I was not going to uh, drink alcohol, and um, this was uh, uh, for many reasons. I had there's some addiction in my family, and I just decided I was not I'm not going to drink alcohol, and uh, to this day it's something I choose not to do. Um, and I had to use these tactics, something I learned, and something I had to use. So someone comes up to you at a party, um, has an alcoholic drink, and you do you don't want to uh, have it. Delay might say, "I no, nah, I'm not." I'm not interested in that. I got an early morning class tomorrow. I, 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 I can't be having that tonight. Sorry, maybe another time. Someone comes up to you at alcoholic drink and you're refusing. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not, I don't do that. I'm not, I'm not interested. No, thanks. I'm, I don't drink. Uh, someone comes up to you with an alcoholic drink and you're negotiating. No, no, thanks. But hey, I'll, I'll tell you what. Um, let's, let's go and, and, and try out this new game that, that I found online. Uh, it's pretty cool. And I, I think that you'd really like it a lot and let, let's try it together. And I, I bet you that uh, I could beat you at it. Let's go. Right. That's negotiate. So practice those refusal skills. When you get the chance, think through them, think, think about them. Always be assertive when you are uh, communicating your refusal skills. And this is a lifelong skill that will help you in many different areas, but especially when you are looking at refusing substances that you just don't want to take. Because at a certain point to avoid abuse, you're going to have to learn to refuse. Thanks.